Yes, I see that. I will stop sharing at this point. Again, the link to these papers is in the chat if you do need to reference it for any reason. Okay, are we ready? And if we, we are, are ready, ready Bruce. yeah, we're ready, Bruce. I will declare the meeting open and ask our clerk. Have we a quorum? Yes, we do. Okay. The next question I will ask, are there any joys or concerns or prayer requests? Um, you can speak them aloud or type them in the chat. I thought we would have that. If you, I will mention one I received today, and that was Kathy Riley Goddard um, from her recovering from emergency surgery. I'd like prayers for uh, Tracy Dobb and her family as she moves off to Arizona this week. For the people of Morocco. Hey, let's bow in prayer. Loving God, creator of all that is, we come before you as your people, seeking to be faithful disciples of Jesus in this Presbyterian, in this world. Help us to follow him where he would lead. Bless this meeting and all who are present. Let us be all a community of love shining forth in the world. Lord God, bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Are there corresponding members we would like to see their first time ruling elder commissioners? I don't see any Bruce. You can keep going. Okay. So we're going to um, hear from property and Kevin's going to talk to us. I can certainly, I, I'm not sure I'm actually on the property committee, but I'm certainly involved in the process. So if you want to hear from property, we can have uh, what we can have Jim talk, but I'd like to, uh, uh, I'd like to put forward a motion that, Presbytery approved the purchase and sale of the former Kenmore Presbyterian Church building on, uh, on, on Delaware Avenue to the uh, Northwood Real Estate Ventures for the, for the total of $1.62 million, which um, was actually over ask uh, due to a bidding war. That is the motion before you to approve the sale of Kenmore Presbyterian Church to Norwood, Northwood Real Estate Ventures, LLC, for $1.62 million. Is there discussion? Needs a second, right? I second it. I wasn't sure if this you were the committee or not. So I can I can speak to it just just very briefly. Um, uh, this is, as you all know, our third time to, to the altar, and we're feeling very positive this time. Um, so I we certainly appreciate Pr Presbytery's patience in uh, in this being the third time that uh, that we've got been approved to to move forward with the sale. Um, as I mentioned in in the motion, it, it's actually we ended up with a last minute bidding war. Um, which was pretty exciting. Uh, de definitely help. Uh, I definitely want to thank uh, Jim Spine for his help during this process. So 
let's uh, just keep us in your prayers and um, for a nice speedy close, we should actually close before the end of the calendar year, which is very, very fast. Okay. I see Jason with his hand up. Uh, hello, Jason Cashing, Clarence Presbyterian. Uh, as the mm -hmm. most recent one now to this group, I'm curious if there's been discussion and perhaps I would just benefit from hearing, are there intended plans for the use of these funds received and what ministries might they be going to support within the Presbytery? I can, I can speak to that initially. I mean, we are going to, our plan is to, and we it's been approved, but our plan is to reinvest the funds in our ministry. We've relocated to a different, a different church, uh, which we're sharing uh, with uh, a Lutheran uh, congregation, which is on the decline. Um, but we've got a great relationship with them right now as renters. Uh, but one, you know, there's a lot of possibilities in terms of how we're going to reinvest, reinvest that, uh, those funds in order to, in, in order to maintain and grow the ministry. Um, because of where God led us to this other church, um, we actually have, have a, I mean, I said a really good relationship. The fact of the matter is we have probably of the normal 15 or 18 or so people that attend their service, uh, four or five of them or six of them uh, join us regularly. And in fact, a few sing in our choir um, and have expressed an interest to uh, to become part of our family, even, even uh, if and when their congregation falls. Uh, it also has brought us into a new community, frankly, even though it's just a, a couple miles down the road, it's a brand new community for us. And through uh, Fred's leadership, um, we've we've just done a, a fantastic job of beginning to reach out to that community in ways that they haven't been reached previously. So I'm very excited about about our future. Uh, I almost feel like we're a planted church. Um, it's 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 really exciting. Thomas. I see your hand up. Do we know what uh, the purchaser planning to do with the building? So we we believe that uh, the building is going to be raised. Um, uh, we don't. We haven't. Um, I, we don't have a direct answer for you, uh, but but we do believe that the building is going to be raised. Um, there are some there are there are some possibilities in terms of how they're going to redevelop it, uh, but we haven't. I mean, these are developers, so they like to keep things very close to the chest until they actually bring it to the to the municipal boards, etc. Um, so it's, it's a very very competitive environment. Um, and, uh, so I can't, I can't answer that directly because I really don't, I don't know a hundred percent. Kevin, um, maybe I know a little bit more when talking to their attorney, um, he implied that it was going to be a restaurant and, uh, they had asked the, uh, village or the town for permission to have a drive through and that was refused. And that kind of held things up for a touch. But then uh, the Byron in question here said, I'm going to go ahead with it. So uh, at least right now, the latest I've heard is they're talking about a restaurant. <clears throat> and a franchise type restaurant too. See, no more hands. So I would assume we're ready to move for a vote to approve the sale of Kenmore Presbyterian Church to Northwood Real Estate Ventures for $1.62 million, and it's time to vote. It looks that it passes 
soundly with 22 voting out of 23 voting for it, 90 per six percent and one abstention. Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. Yes. Next, do we have someone here? Um, I, it was supposed to be Dorothy, but it's not from Committee on Ministry to talk about the establishing uh, administrative commission to assist South Wales in closing their church. Peter, do you want to say anything, Pete Lane? Uh, not especially. I'm just uh, <laughs> looking for instructions. All right. So, so South Wales, um, the gal, Pete, how long ago did the gal school buy the building? About four years. And, and so um, they have, South Wales has been a faithful congregation, no matter how many people show up, right? Peter, right. For worship. We, they have we, been. We've had as few as three, but usually you're close to 10. So they've decided it is time to to close, and um, the motion is to um, have an administrative commission walk through this with them through the closing. And I need so, so, Bruce. Somebody else needs to move it besides me. Okay, we since it's no, we have a motion. If somebody will please make it that we. Um, form an administrative commission to assist the congregation of South Wales to close their church and dissolve the congregation. I'll make the motion. Okay. Second. And I need a second. And I second. see, are there any raised hands? Second. Okay. Seeing none, I assume we're ready to move to a vote to form the administrative commission to suit assist South Wales in closing their church and dissolving the congregation. So Monica, will you give us a and waiting just a second for everybody to vote. Voting is closed. It passes unanimously 22 for and no one against and no one abstaining. And those were the two items that the Presbytery was called to meet for. Did I hear a voice of somebody wanting to say something? Because I was going to close this in prayer. Motion to adjourn would be appropriate. Okay. Can I have that motion to adjourn? Moved. And a second. 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 Okay. Let's bow in prayer and be dismissed. Thank you, God, for the joy of new ministry and for the solemn joy and some sadness in the closing of a church. Be with us in these two steps. Be with our presbytery as we walk with each of these churches. Be with us as we seek to be faithful to you. Lord Jesus, we confess our love to you, our love for your world, and our faithfulness to this presbytery. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.